We're covering Colorado first at six tonight. The wife of a man who died in a helicopter crash is coming together with lawmakers to make aircraft safer. A ceremony today in Summit County marked the passage of a new bill. In that crash, nurse Dave Repture nearly died when the Fight for Life helicopter crashed in Frisco. Well, today, Repture and Patrick Mahaney's widow gathered to celebrate the recent passing of the Helicopter Safety Act. We reported that story earlier this month when it was signed into law. Our Rick Salinger live this evening at University of Colorado Hospital, where Repture spent months recovering. So, Rick, what does the law do? Well, Jim, it requires all helicopters built in the future to come equipped with a crash-resistant fuel tank, something that the pilot's wife has fought hard for. Living through what we've lived through um, has been one of the greatest challenges that I've ever had to face in my life. Three years ago, last July, Karen Mahaney's husband, Patrick, died when the Airbus Flight for Life helicopter he was piloting crashed seconds after takeoff in Summit County, a day those gathered here recalled. None of us at North Colorado Medevac will ever forget that date. The National Transportation Safety Board investigated with disturbing findings. You know, Mrs. Mahaney, this was a survivable crash if all the safety equipment that should have been on board would have been on board. The cause was determined to be from hydraulic issues, but the helicopter might not have burst into flames after impact if it had been equipped with what's called a crash-resistant safety system. Uh, Karen Mahaney said there had been a loophole. That gave the manufacturers uh, an out, that they didn't have to equip helicopters with uh, crash-resistant fuel tanks. Flight nurse Dave Repture was one of two on board severely injured in the crash. We were in the hospital fighting for our lives, and at that time, Karen was was trying to turn something tragic into into something positive. Now all new helicopters must be equipped with the tanks to prevent fires after crashes. Karen Mahaney said there have been some 1,300 deaths in the past that might have been prevented had they had this safety equipment on board. And as far as Dave Repture, he was treated here for burns over 90% of his body. And as you can see today, he is doing much better. Live in Aurora, Rick Salinger, covering Colorado First. Thanks, Rick. An update now.